to a video next week, girl. You see them baby hairs? Baby hairs. welcome back to my channel um, so today we are doing a everyday makeup look and the girl needs to get her nails done that's why she looks like that but we're doing an everyday makeup look and I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do my makeup and skincare routine so without further ado let's get started So when I'm doing my everyday makeup routine, I like to start by color correcting my entire face. Well, actually mainly just my smile lines and my brows first. But I use the powder up just to set in and pretty much prep my face for everything else that I'm gonna do because I have oily skin, especially my brows. I hate to have oily brows, so you'll see me put powder on them like at least three times during this whole routine. Um, next, I go right into my primer, and for the winter, I like to use it's a more heavier, a heavier primer. This one is a silicone base from e.l.f. It's a mineral infused primer, and I fell in love with this last year, using it only in the drier months. Usually in the summertime, I like to use a mattifying primer, but this one has been doing the job for me. And you'll see me go back in with more powder in a little bit. So next, jumping right into foundation, I'm using Milani's 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I don't remember the color, but I will put it in the description box. Another product that I started using last year, um, this, after watching a few review videos about it, I really like the brand already. I used some of their big bronzers, and the fact that this one was 2-in-1, it's like 3 in Two jobs in one. I don't have to really put that much concealer on top, and it's affordable. It's just pretty much perfect. I feel like this color is my summer color though, but we'll make it work. She's gonna make it work. Just blend, 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 blend that away. Next up with concealer, so I am a huge advocate of drugstore brands, etc. Um, I think I use these more than I use the more expensive brands like the Max or the Tarte, NARS, whatever. I stick to my LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, so usually on my everyday basis, I use about three of these. I use Warm Honey first, then I put Toffee on front, on front, on top. And then usually I use a darker shade to do my contour. Uh, this is even if I don't wear foundation, like I'll just wear these three concealers and call it a day. But when I am trying to be like extra snatch, I'll do a foundation base and then these two concealers on top. And to me, they blend even better than like my MAC um, concealer. They use They work just as well as NARS. And easily it's like the perfect tones they squeeze out like I like the applicator so it works out and they're only four dollars like how can you beat that four dollars When I'm contouring, I like to use, again, like I said, the LA Girl, Con LA Girl Concealer. But as you can see, it's like not 
too too dark not too red i like to get like something that is more on the bronzy side of my face most of the time i feel like when you get the ones that are too red you have like a shadow cast around your face and if you get ones that are too cool then your face looks dirty so i felt like this one i feel like it is like the perfect balance for my skin tone and they have so many more tones to choose from i feel like anybody could pretty much get an la girl concealer to do their contour it works it works it works for all of us now i am baking i don't like to bake for too too long um but i like to at least bake under my eyes and on my forehead so i'm using the fenty pro filter setting powder and honey most important part of your face to me brows I don't care if I don't do anything else I'm doing my brows like I could have uh, my hair might look a mess I might have took like my weave out or whatever I don't really care I'm still doing my brows like the brows will be snatched every single day so this is the most important most important part for me of your face and I spend the most time doing my brows I feel like I'll spend like a whole eight minutes doing them um, right here I'm using Benefit's brow pencil. For some reason, I can't remember the name of this brow pencil, but it'll be in the description box. Um, this is one of my go-tos. I actually use a multiple different, multiple brands when it comes to brows. Like I'll use e.l.f., I'll use LA Girl, i use Anastasia, Benefit, but I think Benefit and Anastasia I like the best just because of the color and, um, the quality of the pencil, the twist-up pencil. I actually did these pretty fast, like, to be even filming. Usually it takes me a little bit longer, but. So first I outline, and I'm going to do a separate brow video eventually. But usually just outline with pencil, and I fill in with powder. The powder that I use is the Anastasia Brow Duo, which will also be below. And the entire time, I'm just brushing through with the spoolie to make sure that they don't look like cakey in one area. done with our brows and we are moving on to the rest of the face guys next we're going to be using NYX matte bronzer to set our contour and I love this bronzer affordable not too gray you put it all over your face if you want to um, NYX really hits the mark for me as far as affordable brands
moving right along to our next step, which is just highlighting and adding a little blush. We're going to be using the NYX Ombre Blush. I like this blush because it's a two-in-one. Again, we're trying to save time, right? So um, there is like a warm tone and then there's a lighter tone for highlight. And it works for me every day. I like to not look like a light bulb walking around, so the blush and highlight duo is perfect. Next, jumping into our lashes, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite mascaras from Kiko. It's an enhanced lash mascara. I like to use this on a daily basis. Um, otherwise, I'll use like the Benefit They're Real. And I think I go over my lashes probably about six or seven times. But there's a lot there, so we got to work with what we have. Um, I don't like to wear falsies every day or false lashes every day. I used to do extensions all the time and it kind of made my lashes fall out so now I'm at the point where I'm just trying to work with what I have and get them to grow out. finish up this tutorial guys we are going to be uh, prepping our lips and pretty much just getting them ready for the day I like to put uh, like at least two layers of Vaseline and either an oil or a under gloss or a lip plumping gloss uh, before I put any other like anything else on my lips so today I'm using again another elf product elf lip plumping gloss and I'm going to be using that in it's a natural color. Like, I like to keep it neutral with my colors. I don't really opt to do like Max Cyber or any like purple or bright colors during the week. So everything's pretty natural. On top of the gloss, I put um, NYX Cosmetics Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. This is one of my go-to as well. Once we're done, we come to the end of this tutorial. So I finish off with my setting spray. And she is complete. She is done. She is done, done. Okay, get your makeup mat and fan it out, girl. Fan it out. Because you don't want to be looking like you just dipped your face in water. But, you know, setting spray is a must. And that's pretty much my everyday makeup look. I got, hope you guys like this video. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, everything used in the video will be in the description box below.